Well, dream on if you're thinking we're going to have just clear skies the next several days. Yeah, we, yeah, it's not going to stay clear all the time, but it is clearing out now, Nick and Anaridis. It's looking pretty nice. Here's what we have in Cambridge on the Weatherbug Network here at WBZ. The Banneker Charter School is just a few scattered clouds. It's beautiful. We got this dry slot, which has moved right up over us, right on schedule here, so we're looking pretty good with a temperature there 53 degrees at the present time. And in Boston, the high so far today is 55, but I think you can add about... Oh, about 9 degrees onto that to get about a 64 for today's high, a little bit lower than yesterday's high. The average for this date is 63. The, uh, the high for the date, the record is 95 back in 1930. We won't have anything like that today, that's for sure. And nothing like that all this week because the temperature is actually going to be lower uh, for the next several days over what we have right now. The temperature is 54 currently. The dew point now has dropped to 47. It was in the lower 50s earlier this morning. So the drier air is taking over. Even though the wind is out of the south, the drier is actually coming up from the south and southwest, which is kind of unusual. But that's what we have. We have dew points in the 40s. Yesterday, we were close to 60. Had had that summer feel to it yesterday with that higher humidity around. But look how drier the air is off to the south and west. Even a dew point of 28 in Cincinnati this morning. This is real dry air is coming our way. Along with that uh, dry air is we get a lot of wind, and it's pretty busy. The gusts have been running 20 to 30 miles an hour here, so it's um, a kind, of a, kind of a windy day out there for the most part. But after today, the wind is going to be light almost every single day. Although tomorrow will be about 10 to maybe 20 miles an hour. Then after that, the rest of the week will be light winds. Here's where it's really warm, the central part of the nation. But that warm air has no way of getting here because the jet stream is pretty much controlling our weather here and giving us essentially cool weather coming out of Canada over the next few days. In addition to it being cool, it's cool and unstable, which means the greatest chance of the most sunshine each of the next several days will be during the morning hours. And then as the sun goes to work and creates greater instability, we'll have a lot of clouds developing, leading to some afternoon showers. And that'll be the case today. Here comes a slot of dry air right up here in the eastern sections with a lot of sunshine. Then this afternoon, we'll start to see more clouds coming up. Some high clouds coming coming up from the southwest as a system way out at sea misses us, but also some building uh, towering clouds out to the west, releasing the showers where the air is more unstable out there. And this batch of showers may head eastward, but may not get here until this evening. So it should be rain free, it looks like, in much of eastern Massachusetts for most of the daylight hours today. Well, if you're going out in the western sections, that's a different story. Now, tomorrow there'll be lots of clouds taking over again by mid to late morning, producing a few more scattered showers during tomorrow. It's likely we'll have a few more scattered showers tomorrow afternoon than we'll have this afternoon. So as far as the temperature goes today, it's going up to about 62 to 64, except close to the south coastal areas will be in the upper 50s. Lows tonight will be cooler than last night for sure, upper 30s to lower 40s for the most part, and then highs tomorrow will be cooler than today. It'll be in the upper 50s for the most part. Here's the forecast for the next seven. You'll see pretty much the same story Monday through Friday with the highs mostly 55 to 60. Most of the afternoon showers will be occurring on Tuesday afternoon. There'll be a few scattered perhaps on Wednesday and Thursday, but that's when the showers may be most widespread. And hopefully next weekend, looking better now. In fact, Mother's Day, if we can hold the next system off, week from today's Mother's Day, it could be a very nice day. Fingers crossed on that. All Back right. to you.